Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Pochisol, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us doing a tier list on the best to worst WWE Supercard game modes. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video and as you guys can see we are on tiermaker.com which is the official tier list maker where you guys can make your own tier list and be part of some other super super cool tier lists as well. So this, as you guys can see, we've got Royal Rumble PvP, we've got PCC, we've got King of the Ring, we've got Money in the Bank, money, 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 then we've got LMS, we've got Ringdom, we've got Road to Glory, we've got War, we've got Royal Rumble, we have got, oh, the other one's Remote Royal Rumble, take it back, I do apologize. Then we've got OTL, Over the Limit, Elimination Chamber, TBG, and Wild. So, those are all the game modes. So S, I'm going to quickly rename to Super. A, I'm going to go Average. B, I'm going to go B Tech. C is crap. And D, it's just dull. All right. So this is going to be my tier list on what I think is best to worst based on the game modes we've had in the WWE Supercard over the seven seasons. Obviously, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And then, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So... Female Royal Rumble. The game mode a lot of us will not be playing or hardly ever play unless we have to play level a female card to uh, to make a pro of. Again, same with the male Royal Rumble, but but female Royal Rumble will be played significantly less than the male version. So I'm gonna go in dull. That is my one that's dull purely because the amount of times we just find ourselves play leveling females compared to males isn't that much. So that's why it's dull. Obviously, like I said, if you guys want to agree or disagree with me, please leave it in the comments down below because I will be going through the comments and reading through yours and obviously responding to your comments based on what I think. But then we have got PCC. And boy, I cannot go on enough about PCC and how much I want it back in the game. Jeez! To the moon and back, please. Let's go. I'm telling you, PCC is the best and will always ha have been the best game mode that Supercard ever had. Like, a lot of Season 1 players will agree with me right here. A lot of Season 7 or 8 players won't even know what... The, uh, not even 8, sorry. A lot of Season 6, 7 players won't even know what the hell the game mode was. But yes, it is. And for, for those who know, it's the best game mode in the game that we've had. Then King of the Rings. So King of the Rings started off as a really long, like, side event that you could play. To earn extra, like, cards of your tier. To earn extra uh, cards for below your tier, blah, blah, blah. And it used to it used to take what a day and a half, two days. Now it only what takes what eighteen hours. Well, not even that, like five, six hours max. I think at uh, King of the Ring. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go B Tech. I do I do them every now and again. You won't catch me doing them back to back to back to back to back. But I do do them every now and again. So they're not horrible, but they're not great. Next in Money in the Bank. And again, for me, a crap game mode. So how Money in the Bank started, for those who don't know, was basically, started with the Revan Reigns Money in the Bank card, which I'm going to find and put on screen for you guys right now. And that card looks insane. Like, it looks so nice. that the, the, He had the briefcase in the card, uh, on the card image, sorry. And it was an amazing card. But you had to collect contracts. So now we have it with the super coins. You play games, you collect super coins. Super coins are used as a universal currency for certain packs in the PvP store and uh, draft board picks. Whereas uh, with Money in the Bank, you only could collect the contracts to collect these Money in the Bank cards. You didn't have the extra packs. You didn't have all this extra uh, bonus stuff. So it was a very, very dull and very stale game mode. It became really just, if you wanted the cards, you had to just grind that because there's no other way of getting those cards. So yeah, that's why I put it in dull because it was, for me, it's just, nah. I, like I said, and you guys know from, obviously from my streams, for those who watch my streams, you guys will know that it's not a game mode that you can see me playing and me enjoying playing. Right, LMS. So obviously you guys recently saw I did quite well in the last LMS, the Seth Rollins one. I got ranked 1,254, I believe. So yeah, obviously I enjoyed that grind. So I'm going to put it in average. I thought it was good or average, but there's obviously... But I don't think we're going to get another game mode in Super, if I'm honest. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna say... I'm going to have to change this not from average, but to awesome then. Because otherwise it doesn't make sense. We'll change it to awesome. So LMS I'd say is awesome. Ring Domination, again, is an awesome game mode. I'm going to put it in front of LMS. Purely because it's one of the easiest grindable game modes in the game. And again, that pretty sure the game mode got introduced either back end of Season 1 or the start of Season 2. With either the Sami Zayn or the Undertaker event cards. Which I'm also going to have on screen for you guys right now. Awesome, awesome, awesome cards. Obviously, no one... When the game mode first came out, 
We didn't really know how to play it, so obviously I didn't get the card, even though I could have done. Like, I was in the tier to get it. Like, trust me, I was in WrestleMania tier when that thing dropped. Like, uh, I didn't know how to play it properly, so I just gave up. If I didn't know how to play it, then trust me, I would have got the card. Because back then, you didn't have heroic side, blah, blah, blah. You didn't have all the extra shenanigans. Yeah, that's basically that. Then Road to Glory, again, is going to go in front of LMS in Awesome. I quite enjoy Road to Glory, because back in Season 1, you only had Road to Glory, PC, Road to Glory, PC, Road to Glory, PC, Road to Glory, PC. That's all you had. And it was so refreshing after a PCC where you've grinded 96 hours to get a good place card or get some undercards or whatever. To then grind a Road to Glory where it's just a certain amount of cards for, uh, again, another pro. For example, I got the Roman Reigns Road to Glory Pro from Season 1 WrestleMania tier, which I'll have on screen for you guys right now as well. That card looks absolutely amazing, and I still have it in my card catalog. I don't actually have the physical card in the game anymore, but I have the uh, card in my card catalog. So, for the next event, is War Mode. I'm going to put this in crap. I won't put it in dull, I'll put it in crap, purely because when it comes to PCC, what do we play? Either EC or Raw Rumble, because it gives us the most amount of points for games. So, points to game ratio is a lot more uh, valid and a lot more... A lot higher, sorry, if you play um, Royal Rumble or Elimination Chamber. Whereas with uh, War Mode, it's basically a PvP, online PvP version of Wild. Or, yeah, so basically Wild. So, yeah, or what it used to be Exhibition. So, for me, it's just crap because it's not worth our time based on the points we get for it. Again, Mel's Royal Rumble. I'll put that in BTEC. It's really good for when you need to play level cards because each individual fight you come up against at your opponent's card gives you a match on your card. And for play leveling, it's heaven. Like, trust me, when you want to play level a card, when you're damn bad and you need to play level that card to get you up to the next tier, slap in Royal Rumble, play five, six actual physical games of Royal Rumble. Nine out of ten, you're done. Obviously, it can range depending on how lucky you get where your card gets put into the game. But... Like I said, normally it should take you more than 10 games to play level of card in Royal Rumble. Then OTL. If I could create a sub tier for, for this, I would. Because I'd put it so far over here, it's so bad. We had one over the limit, and I think it got removed and never put in again. I don't know what Supercard was thinking. I don't know what this was supposed to be. But goddamn, it was shit. <laughs> like, it was so bad. I hope you guys can agree with me. Then Elimination Chamber. I am going to put in BTEC again, but behind Royal Rumble. But the reason is Elimination Chamber isn't that good for play leveling, but it's good if you want to get your PvP points really fast to rank up. Really because if you put a full deck of Gothic cards in with two two stats managers, 9 out of 10, you're going to win your games. You're going to be able to get 110 points per bout in PvP to help tear you up very, very quickly to help grind for those 25k so that you can get the best rewards in the PvP game mode. Right, for our penultimate game mode in Supercard is going to be Team Battleground. I don't know how to feel about this one purely because it's good and it's bad. I'm going to put it in... Where do I put it? Crap is too harsh. Hmm... I'll put it in B Tech behind Elimination Chamber purely because it's awesome for the start of the tier when there's when there's a new tier in the in the game and people want to get those cards quick. TVGs are the way to do it. If you've got a good team who are in the tier when the tier drops, you're not doing anything wrong because nine times out of ten, if you get lucky, you'll get the card from the new tier if you guys win the TVGs. And TVGs take what a day and a half max, two days to complete. So what's wrong with them? But yeah, that's basically me. And then we've got my lovely friend Wild. The Wild game mode I have to put in awesome ahead of road to glory and you guys are going to be thinking to yourselves wild ahead of road to glory really and i'm going to explain this so basically back in season one you had exhibition or you had the event you didn't have all the pvp modes and the only way you could play level your cards is if you grinded 100 wild games that's mad people say people say and it's not just that you didn't really have play level until what back in season two maybe season three but also, to get your ladder rewards, the best way to do it was in Wild. The more Wild games you play, the quicker you get your ladder rewards. And that's what we were all grinding for in Season 1. It's them ladder reward cards with the John Cena or Page cards. I'll have one of each variant of one of the tiers on screen for you guys right now. Because you had them from, uh, I think it was from like Rare tier all the way up to like Survivor and stuff. It was so, so sick. Both the variant of um, Cena or Page, which is quite funny because Page isn't really in a sense with the company anymore. But yeah. But yeah, I love I love Wild. Uh, I'll play it if I really need to. It's not like a game mode I really play anymore. But for what it was back in the day, it was elite. And honestly, elite. So this is my tier list. Obviously, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the tier list. Obviously, let me know what you guys would have changed around and put in different positions. I'm interested and I'm eager to hear what you guys think. But with that being said, this has been BoyPokes12. If you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe already. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.